Experience is a massive difference. Terrence McKinney loses to Drew Dober, taking the fight on short notice, gets TKO'd in the first round when he was looking for the big knockout early, trying to get this momentum going similar to how Hamza was able to do and even Kevin Holland earlier on, but ultimately against a veteran like the Crimson Chin, you're not going to get him out that fast, even though he almost did. Eight seconds into the fight, Terrence McKinney became the first fighter to ever drop Drew Dober in a fight, and he did it eight seconds in. The guy has otherworldly power. He has the potential to be one of the most powerful lightweights we have ever seen. Terrence McKinney has so much power. He was on one leg, hit Drew Dober, the Crimson Chin, with a left hook and blasted his head into the cage. That's an insane amount of power. His hands, his knees, his kicks, he has a good submission game. Even though he lost, Terrence McKinney is a promising prospect for the lightweight division. He definitely has a bright future because the way he lost is not that bad for a young fighter trying to get some experience in the cage. That was his third fight in the UFC, blowing through so many fighters even on the regional scene to almost knocking out Drew Dober in the first round, taking the fight on two weeks notice. He didn't get badly injured in the fight. He didn't really get rocked. He got a knee to the body and then the ground and pound wasn't really concussive. It wasn't really landing clean on him, but ultimately the ref stopped the fight. Terrence McKinney is able to go back home, evaluate everything, look back and learn from this experience. This is a kind of loss that's going to grow a young prospect into a calculated veteran. If Terrence McKinney was more calculated in this fight and picking out his shots instead of just trying to blow right through the veteran that nobody else was able to knock out, he may have found a way to win the fight. But blowing his wide looking for the early KO ultimately caused his demise. It was a lack of fight IQ which is connected to his inexperience. He is going to get there eventually. But Drew Dober with the amazing win. He toughed his way through the fight. Able to get back at Terrence McKinney. Land a grazing left hook. And as McKinney was looking for the takedown. Which is what he was trying to do when things are not going his way. He wasn't able to get his shots off. Because of how tired he was. Then Drew Dober found the opening for the knee to the chest and that's ultimately what dropped McKinney because when you're going for a double leg like this you're pretty much extending your torso and showing your chest and liver to any potential upward attack a lot of times fighters want to just catch their head with a knee but you can catch their body instead now people think the first knee landed the first knee actually did not land on Drew Dober McKinney rolls it up and then pushed away a Dober's body with his shin and his posting hand. That's what caused Drew Dober to fall off balance. The second knee landed for a different reason. Drew Dober actually had the same defense from the first to the second one. The first time, Terrence McKinney did not throw a flying knee. He didn't hop into it, but the second time he did, he didn't hop into it. That's why Drew Dober was able to catch it because it's lower. The second time, Drew Dober tried to catch it again, but McKinney actually made the adjustment and threw a flying knee knowing that the other one did not connect to the target. And McKinney had every technique, I mean from the outside trip, to the follow-up spinning attacks when he misses overextending punches. These kind of spinning back fists can be a good way to defend yourself and also counter at the same time because you're rotating away from any kind of potential counter from Drew Dober, specifically hooks. And to even follow up the spinning attack, Terrence McKinney also had a good double leg takedown under any kind of potential shot that Drew Dober was trying to throw. And what was amazing for Terrence McKinney, I want to see more from him, are these head kicks off the break. Whenever they disengage away from a clinch or Drew Dober's getting off of the mat, Terrence McKinney was always on the trigger to throw out the head kick and he caught him multiple times with it, except Drew Dober has three layers of chin, able to eat them no problem. But the wildness from Terrence McKinney is something that's going to be taught out of him. He's going to have to get away from these wild exchanges he gets with opponents and start to be a little bit more methodical. Yes, he could be super aggressive, but pick the shots more and make it calculated. For an example, like what Alex Pereira is able to do to some opponents. He brawls it out sometimes, but he makes it technical and calculated, finding his power shots in small increments. If McKinney gets that thing down, he's going to be a problem for anybody in this division because his power is just something else. He's fast. He has an awkward striking style. Awkward stance almost resembles what Anthony Johnson used to fight like. He will look very big in front of you given how his stance is and that automatically causes his opponents to back up away from him. But ultimately it was a good win for Drew Dober. He needed this kind of win. We can say he derailed the hype train but I don't think so yet. It's not a bad loss for Terrence McKinney. Yes it looks like on paper that it's bad. First round TKO but when you look at how the fight went down and McKinney was winning 90% of the fight and almost knocked out a guy that was never knocked out before, dropped him for the first time in his career, and actually did it twice in the same fight while being so young in the game. Terrence McKinney has a high ceiling, man. I'm looking forward to him fight again more than ever before. And I really wonder how much better he can get from this experience. Khalil Roundtree is destroying Carl Robertson right now. He's swinging at this guy like he slapped this girl on the ass. And it's over, man. We got to see more of this from Khalil Roundtree, but I'll see you guys in the next video.